What's up? Small video today. Don, Maria, Rain Ross, Stacy, Mango Pilot, Pablo, Nadia, slaying the hair, girl, the hair always has to slay, Lou, Holla, thank you, Jackie, Tyrese, Don, Giovanni, you don't know the song? Casey Ann, morning, hi, Tanya, in the gym, alright girl, work out, I need to get there too, cause let me get him back good. Anyhow, people, what's going on? About here. I said I'm going to do a Q&A session tonight because I was actually supposed to do a bun down session. But um, I'm traveling tomorrow. And I can't tell you where I'm traveling to. And if anybody in the chat knows where I'm traveling to, do not say where I'm traveling to just yet. Because you know how that shit goes. So I'll let you know where I am tomorrow night. I'm going to go live. But I'm not going to be doing a Dear Babsy and a Babsy After Dark. Uh, but I will be going live from where I am going to be. You understand? Hey, Jason Williams, what's going on? Suzanne. Dennis, hi. Keon. Big up yourself. Al, I lost Foster. Horn man, what's up, boy? Trim trims. It's morning. Okay, so tell me where you guys are that it's morning. It's 11.15 in Toronto where I am. Um, I'm drinking my rich people water. Um, so somebody on Instagram named Cambria, I think that was her name, told me about this water. It actually tastes really good. I don't know if it's worth the $6 for the six of them. Okay, you know my ass cheap. Ray Bird, what's going on? LaQuisha, what's up? So, uh, let's go. I'm going to do a QA and a tonight. So you guys can ask me some questions. Thank you, Andel. I real cute, eh? Oh, Lord. After they say my nose big and thing, huh? Um, big up Tyrese T dot you done no T dot posse real city. I'm gonna do a QA. So if you guys have questions for me that you've been dying to ask Babsy, dying to ask Carla, ah, maybe even dying to ask Kevin, you can ask me them today. Um, if you get ridiculously slack, I probably won't answer you or something that's very stupid and derogatory. But for the most part, I'm willing to answer a lot of the questions today. I actually tabulated some of the ones people inbox me. What's up, Jappy? Um, I tabulated the ones that people inbox me, so I have some of them here, but I'm going to take some, um, take some out of the chat right now. So anybody who has your questions that you want to ask Babsy, shoot, because I'm going to answer them. Hi, Ty Tyrese. What's up? Hey, sweet cheeks. So nobody ain't got no questions for me. Write down the question in here. Let me answer you and I, let me shout you out and ting. Well, Lord, big up yourself, Dorio, Bajan and PA. That's Pennsylvania. I think so, right? Philadelphia. Ask me, Al Foster. What are you going to ask me, Al? Do you know horns yet? Don Giovanni, what's my favorite color? It is purple. Purple is my favorite color. Followed closely by like this kind of a pink here. Um, if you notice my like beats, the back of my computer. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I, I tend to stay in this pink purplish color kind of family. It's my favorite color. Has been from the time I've been a little child. Um, thank you, Akila. I do a great job. Thank you, Beverly. You love my show. Yeah, Pennsylvania. I figured that. When you coming to to where? Baltimore. Uh, Maryland. I've been in Baltimore about a year ago. 
Uh, I should be coming back sometime soon. Whenever you guys have some carnival events, I'll probably pass through. Alice said he's gonna. Al wants to know when am I gonna show you my horn playing skills? Well, um, soon because I'm actually trying to learn bass guitar. Uh, because I don't know any string instruments. I know like trombone, trumpet, flute, baritone, tuba, uh, clarinet, alto and tenor, sax, piano. But I don't know any string. French horn I know as well. So, um, yeah, that, that, that I need to learn how to play bass guitar because I want to go and work with Griner and Gabby and them and be like, boom, 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 boom. Like, you know how the bass line needs to be hidden in real soca. Let me see. How do you know you're passionately in love with someone? I'm going to answer that shortly because I have something close to that written down. Someone asked me. Me and my girlfriend love your videos so much. Things you know about Trini. And I'll tell your girlfriend I said hi. I know the real horn from the fake horn. You better double check if your woman horn in you, Mr. Foster. That's what you need to know. How did you and Kevin first meet and how did you know he's the one? That's actually in there as well, Maria. So there's a series of Kevin questions I'm going to get to soon because most of them were about him. Lord God. Hey, Sincere, what's up? You're learning the car guitar too, so let's learn together. But bass. But you know me, I'm a little bit more advanced than you because you, you, you ain't ready, Al. So just, you know, link me when you're ready. Um, you just love my consistent realness. Love you back for that. Thank you, Onika, Dr. Davis, Miss Intelligent Woman. Big up yourself. Raul, what's up, man? Uh, red plastic bag, yo, don't hate on RPV. You know bag is the man. Don't hate. Don't hate. Why bad mind are unfortunately so common like the flu and wicked people on the rise? Um, I think, Jappy, that's happening um, because guidance. You know, a lot of us, when we were growing up, we had grandparents that were good people and would teach us something. And, you know, now, you know, people's moms are 14 and 15. You know, there's not much you can do and teach a child at 14 and 15. You can keep them alive and keep them to survive, but you don't have that guidance. Like my grandma lived to like 94 and like she was so intelligent. You know what I mean? My granddad, I remember things that they taught me just about life and patience and people and stuff like that. We don't have that anymore. That knowledge transfer, you know, like if you notice like Jewish people and You'll see them with their grandparents and all of that. So we don't have that. People's now's grandparents. Like I am 37 and there's girls that went to school with me that are grandparents. Like I don't even have kids yet. And they double lap me and got grandkids. So like I just learned a lot about life in the last year. So I think that if I had a child at 19, 20, they would have been deprived because I wouldn't have been able to give them as much knowledge as I have right now about life. Like I wouldn't have been able to do that. So, you know what I mean? It's, it, it's, 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 there's no knowledge transfer. So you're a kid, you're five, your mom's 19. She's sleeping with someone's husband. She's robbing the man next door. She's doing things. So you're going to grow up and just be the same thing. You know what I mean? Like you're not going to be too far from that. Let me say, um, Frankers, Capone, how many tattoos do I have? I have three. I have one here, one on my belly, and I have a, a tramp stamp, apparently. That's what it's called. Do I enjoy reading my mails, Beverly? Yep. Sometimes I'm here crying when I read them. I'm like, oh, God. Like the Bangladesh woman that I had to like track down because she's literally like beat up her husband because of me. You know what I mean? I'm like, wow. And she's happy in life and now. So that's good. So yeah, the letters inspire me all the time. What inspired me to blog? I, I didn't know what blogging was. And that's one of the questions. Did, did I ever see myself getting this big? Like I just did a video as a joke and I was just like, yeah, you know, my tr mechanic is a Trini and then this and that. And then it was like, why do I have 500 friend requests in my, um, <laughs> in my Facebook? I mean, six years ago to have 500 friend requests in a day was a lot. You know what I mean? And then why do I have 2,500 comments on my video? Like, what's going on here? So I didn't even know what blogging was. But now it's like making sure that the, the message gets out because I realize how dumps, dumps, dumps like the, the, the fruit in Barbados. It's a fruit, right? Or is it a vegetable? It's a fruit. I'm joking. Please don't 
cool duh because people be like Babs you don't know if Bells is a fruit or a vegetable like calm down but now it's like making sure that people understand things you know gaining knowledge gaining wisdom understanding you know there's better ways to, to life you know like even looking at my family coming here my mom didn't have any money and like look where we are now so it's like when people hear these stories they hang on because a lot of people want to give up so that's what inspires me to blog Maria Rawl is your cousin great um, who's my favorite soca artist? Janelle Martin. I don't want to say one, but up there, honestly, artist, Lil Rick. I would say Lil Rick um, because of the struggle for Lil Rick. And I was there and I saw what they did to him. And I see what his holding on and persisting has done to the soca industry. Um, really like red plastic bag. Super Blue, Blue Boy, is like like a tad bit behind Lil Rick. You know, I and I and I love Marshall. I think Marshall is amazing. Um a Marshall is a is a true superstar. And as a child I remember watching him on TV, you know, when he had them Caribbean shows on a Sunday in his diaper competing at Soka Monarch. So like Marshall had a lot to do with inspiring me as a child to stick with my caribbean culture so Marshall, trust me he he's up there there's a few of them gabby um then there's some guys that you might not know like penguin what sweet and he go mouth does that was my boy back in the day there's a few of them there's a few of them um what's my favorite country place that i visited so far um guyana because honestly i went into guyana like okay get some steel fingertips Cause they gonna chop off your hand and then and it was totally totally different um the Gu guyanese people are extraordinarily nice i wasn't expecting that and i was hearing about the indians versus blacks like indian guyanese embraced me everywhere i went um black guyanese embraced me patagi um, guyanese like guyana is so nice the food is exceptional. Um, the only thing about Guyana that I would say that they need to do is, because it's not a tourist destination, they need a lot more like hotels and tourist type attractions. Yeah, they have Pegasus and they have these things, but they need to have like, you know, a stronger campaign for Guyana to come there. And, and the violence in Guyana is not as random as people make it seem and trust me uh guyana is like up there highly um i can't even think of another place guyana by far lead let me see what was my biggest achievement in 2016 um i would say and this might be weird to you working with colombian emeralds and duty free caribbean because if you know my history as a blogger for a prestigious organization like Colombian Emeralds and Duty Free Caribbean to work with me and be open to work with me, like that was probably my biggest accomplishment blogging wise for 2016 uh, by far. You know, I was really like, wow, Colombian Emeralds, Duty Free Caribbean, yo, I'm here now. You know what I mean? Like, they can't really get rid of me now. These are real organizations, real companies. Like, Colombian Emeralds and Duty Free Caribbean is like in how many islands? You know what I mean? They're on Norwegian cruise ships. You know, like they're big. You know what I'm saying? And they were like, oh yeah, Babsy, come, let's go. We love you. You know what I mean? So I was kind of like, yeah, th 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 this is good. This is good. This is good. Let me see. Can I sing and dance? I can really dance, but I just like walk up like go down, go down, split. You know, like I don't jump off speaker boxes. However, I think if I tried, I could, but like I'm out and bad, like out and bad, like, like, I, let me find a song, like Dibby, Dibby, Dibby time, like I grew up in, I grew up in this era right here, so, Yo, Vanilla, if you know about this era right here, you'd understand the kind of dancing I could do, walking up, that kind of thing, yeah, I just don't do it. You know this was the rhythm. Yeah, 
Anyhow, so that was my time during like Penthouse in Barbados, um, Adriana's that turned to Club Millennium that I don't even know what it's called now. Like I used to be clubbing back in the day really, really hard. I don't club right now because I got good hair and I don't want to break my heels. Would you ever publish a book, Laquisha? I have a book actually on Amazon. Type in Babsy. I have a skincare book and I'm actually doing a kind of a biography type thing right now. It's called The Journey Back to Miss Bab. So it's going to make sense soon, but that's what I've been working on. Kevin's been like, you need to do two pages a day and you need to um, up your, like, Kevin be on me like, psh, psh. I'll be like, easy slave master. But yeah, a book's coming and I have one already on Amazon that was like ninth on the bestseller list for skincare. So if you have a chance, check it out. Hi, Lindigo, big up yourself. Am I a Beijing Yankee? Yeah. So that's always comes up for a conversation. My accent. I was born and raised in Canada, Toronto, Scarborough, Malvern, Buyaka, Buyaka. But my mom, like, you know, if you hear my mom talk, I don't know if I can get her to come and say something. Mom, people want to hear your Beijing accent. They want to hear you. Say something in Beijing. Think about it. I can come back for you. What, 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 what going on? <laughs> you see now? That's why. Yeah. So my mom is so Beijing and my dad, like, so my mom is country Beijing. My mom is from Diamond Corner, St. Peter, originally from Belle Plaine, St. Andrew, originally from Horse Hill, St. Joseph. So if you go and Google their places in Barbados, you would know, like, bruh, bruh. Like, bush, bruh. You know what I mean? I remember when Diamond Corner only had one telephone back in the 80s. And we used to visit and most people still had outhouses and things. My dad is a little bit more um, poor grade. That's actually what I would call my father. He's like one of them dudes that be like, I'm from Barbados. And, you know, um, yes, I went to Corrigan Pari. I attended school with Owen um, Roach. His name was Roach before he was an Arthur. I don't want to get into that conversation right now. And then I'll be like, yeah, but you know, cricket. Test cricket guy, you know, he, you know that, you know. You know Pedro Collins is your friend, right? What happened that he balling? So, like, <laughs> he just like flip in and out. But most times he'd be like, my name is Bentley. Good afternoon. Like he'd be on some <laughs> twingy twang shit. Like, <laughs> but he does it okay. Like he's believable. If you heard him, you would think he's Canadian. But he's Beijing. Good night, Leslie Frank. Hi. Destra for 2017. I hear you. Guyana, Guyana, Guyana. Everybody's saying, I'm happy with what you say about making kids because people often badmouth me. I'm 34 with no kids. Valsia, I'm 37 with no kids. And people are like, I can't breed. I was like, they must be gynecologists. Fucking idiots. Let's go to the next one. Why they ain't crown you queen of all bloggers yet? You own this original time. Japi, that's going to come. You're going to start to see the rest of them wither away. You understand? You understand? Beverly, oh my God, I love your blogging. I've been following you for a long time. You inspire a lot of people. Big up, you're from Guyana. Yes, man. Linden, Bartica was the next place. Mahika, y'all took me on some freaking trips about day. God. Hey, DJ Cookie Man out of Trinidad and Tobago. Big up yourself, DJ Cookie Man. Corda, how to become a blogger? I actually have that question there. I'm going to get back to that. Uh, how to become a Caribbean blogger? I'll get back to that. Love you too, Courtney Darlington. You heard my mom. It. Oh, tell her to say, Jack, here, get breakfast. <laughs> you guys look so much stupidness. <laughs> Big up Nicole Matthias from St. Vince in London. St. Vincent. I hope that's not London in St. Vincent. All right. Let me see. Speaky Spooky, good night. Good night from the Bahamas. Raised in Brooklyn, born in Barbados. Good night, Jay Willis. Yes, so how to become a blogger. Um, Honestly, the only advice, and I give this advice all the time, just be yourself. Like, just actually, you know, just start talking about your experience. Like, today I talked about being a fat woman and how everybody's considering me fat now that I'm wearing a size 8, 9. And um, people are calling me fat and saying that I need to go on a, like, whatever. And it's like, when I wrote that article, a lot of people messaged me because they was like, you know, um, they was like how they can't believe that somebody who's wearing a size eight is considered fat. 
oh, wait a minute. I got some, I got some contributions, $264 to my BMO account. I don't have personal information here. From my um, ret registered retirement savings plan. Yo, them say, I'm not going to get old, BMO. I'm going to be young forever. All right, yeah. Good night, Ta Tequila Stout from California. How are you? Someone says, um, Nadia, I love Barbados. Lived there for a couple years, but actually from Guyana, living in New York. Oh, you get inspired, please? Yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate the um, kind words. Big up mom, my mom in St. Philip, Team Babsy for life. So yeah, Jappy, I'll tell you about that because that's one of the questions about how do I feel about the other Caribbean bloggers, etc. whatever. I'll be honest, and this is like no shade because I mean, I'm too tall to be like throwing shade. I am the shade. There are no other Caribbean bloggers. None. None. Um, the other people who are out here saying that they're Caribbean bloggers, like they don't know how to go to church and camp in Guyana and get Chinese food. They have no clue what, where that is. They don't know who Militant is hot and groovy from Guyana. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they don't know St. Vincent. They don't know how to get to Bekwe. They don't know who Porsa is in Winston Soso. Like how could they say they're Caribbean blogger? They don't know it anywhere in St. Vincent. They don't know Barbados. They they don't know Trinidad. They don't know Laventil from San Fernando from Tuna Puna. You understand what I'm saying? They don't know who Lord Kitchener is an explainer. So how could you be a Caribbean blogger? Just because you go on someone's news page and share a story from Antigua, you don't know anything about Antigua. What do you know about Montserrat? What do you know about Arrow? What do you know about the evolution of Soka? What do you know about the evolution of Reggae? What do you know about the evolution of Dancehall? You're not a Caribbean blogger. You're an imitation. You can't speak St. Lucian. See, bon di bon, boy bande, tiwe chula. Like, you're not ready to come and step up in this. So at the end of the day, like, you're just out here pompa setting. You don't know what it is to get your booga bati, right? Bati booga. You have no clue. So... Don't pretend that you're a Caribbean blogger and you don't know nothing about the Caribbean. The only person out here that's repping regionally like me is Major Hype. Everybody else is just like, yo, try and be Caribbean and be across the board. You don't know where Victoria from Grenville is in Grenada. Why are you talking about the Caribbean? You have no clue. You've never been nowhere. You're not a Caribbean blogger. You're not. Stop it. You're embarrassing me. Like... So that's how I feel about it. And they're always trying to be like, oh, Babsy, you know, this, like you don't know nothing about nothing. So I could very easily go on, you know, Gordon Mosley's page and share stories about Guyana, but I'm going to tell you where Nigel's supermarket is. And I'm going to tell you that they gave me fake Nikeers in, in the arcade in Regent Street. Like I, on the end of Regent Street, like I know that I've been there. So you can't test me. You know what I mean? You can't test me. So that's how I feel. I just feel like it's me and then it's like everybody else. So all these other people who are beefing and arguing and fighting, I have they can't fight with me because it's like, then I'm an artist blogger, right? So it's like, for me, when I travel and I go and I meet artists, they're more excited to see me than I am to see them. And people could attest to that. They'll be like, I saw your video on the I love you. And it's like, Where's your video camera? Let's roll. And it's like, I don't be like, yo, can you do a video with me, bro? That mean like they, they just see me and want to do videos. So I don't struggle to get media passes and see artists like, so I don't know. I don't consider myself to be in a category with them. I don't think the majority of them could see Beanie Man and Beanie Man know who they are. Like when I saw Beanie Man, he's like, Bob Zinabada, nobody go rough on nobody. Like, you know what I mean? Like these people don't know anybody. Like they, I don't know. I just don't see me and them in the same category at all. You understand? Happy f flat is in Grenada. I know it's in the bush. And I know I be, I, I live out in golf course and I see some big houses where I live. I don't know about no happy flat. Don't be telling me about no bush place. They don't know when Babsy said that Stone Love HQ major key. <laughs> Jappy, relax yourself, huh? Wow, you are a good girl, Savita. No, trust me, like, don't play around. Like, like, I'm, I'll tell you a, a time I was in Jamaica. <laughs> and we were at karaoke sitting down. And Hari Tagla was there. There's a whole bunch of people there playing dominoes and stuff. Elephant Man was there, I think, at that point in time before they fell out. 
and the man's playing music. So then a woman comes on and is singing and they're like, who's that singing? And the guy, like Carlene Davis. I was like, nah, that's June Lodge. And everybody looked at me and the man's like, me a Jamaican, me born and grow a Jamaica, a Carlene Davis, me set. And I'm like, bruh, that's June Lodge, dog. That's not Carlene Davis. He's like, yo, bet you say you're wrong. Give me five grand Jamaican if you're wrong. And I'm like, if I'm right, what you gonna give me? He's like, 10 grand Jamaican if you're right. I said, all right, go ask the selected man who's that singing. Because I don't bet unless I know for a thousand, ten percent I'm right. The man said, oh, JC Lodge. Because that's her initials, JC Lodge. I was like, where's my 10 grand, bruh? Like, just because you were born and raised in Jamaica, don't feel you know reggae like me, bro. My dad had every record on the planet. So, like, if you want to test me with music knowledge, you got to go back to 1983 and then start digging and then start understanding why, you know, Tenor Saw was killed in 1988. Yeah, you know I mean, and then why Nitty Gritty was killed in 91. Like, you need to understand the history of the music to even know what's going on out here. You know what I mean? Like, you can't just be out here sharing stories from, from a Trinidadian website and think you're a Caribbean blogger. Like, I, I, I'll, 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 I'll school some people out here. Don't, 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 don't play with me. Don't play with me. Yeah, well, talking straight is upset people. I realize, like, even in my Usain Bolt video, I'm like, okay, there's not a conspiracy against Jamaica. Da -da. People that like, shut your fucking mouth and, yo, fuck you. And da -da -da. I'm like, okay, fuck me. His medal is still gone. Your voice still can't do anything about it, but fuck me. Okay, bye. Like, it's facts. This is the facts. Donald Trump is the president. That is a fact. You can tell me to suck my mother. He's going to be president tomorrow morning when you wake up. So why are you taking out your anger on me? So now I don't even see them comments no more. I just ignore people. I'm like, yo, you're fucking dumb. You're dumb. You're dumb. Yo, I can tell you that Mega Mart is across the sh Waterloo Road, Terra Nova Hotel. I could, like, yo, I could tell you the road from Kingston to Montego Bay. I could tell you about the toll highway to go to Portmore, which takes you to Hellshire Beach that they call Elsha Beach in Jamaica. Like, I'd be out here. These heifers can't test me, man. They, they, they think they can. They cannot test me. Love your tenor sauce. Step out the car, boss style video. Yeah, man, trust me. Nitty gritty, though, Jopied. It wasn't tenor sauce. It was nitty gritty. Uh, used to be my lover. <laughs> but what's the question I have about what do people criticize me the most about? Um, my nose lately. My nose has been the topic of discussion that I have a big nose. Yo, yeah, your nose, big, big nose, yell, ray, ray, ra, ra, ra. And most people criticize me about the truth. Like, it'll just be like, okay, this is the stat this month for your murders in Jamaica. You're at X, Y, Z. That is factual information. And people tell me to suck out my mom. Then I'm like, okay. But it's a true stat though. You know that, right? Like, okay. Suck my mom. Mom, the people tell me I'm supposed to suck you out because I say in the truth. How am I supposed to suck you out now? How am I supposed to suck you out? <laughs> she don't know so there you have it people i'm supposed to suck up my mom she doesn't know how to do it so that's how we just go in that conversation right there so what's another thing someone says what do you struggle most with as a blogger interesting as a blogger i struggle most with being babsy the blogger and being babsy the human being so it's like i don't fucking care about marvin the dancer breaking his leg I, I, I don't, like, I don't fucking care. Like, the bottom of my heart, I don't care. Like, I really don't care what Gully Bop is doing. Like, if people could only understand how much I don't care about these people. But I have to give people what they want to hear sometimes. So people are like, what's the truth with Mr. Legs and Maya for Ray Tay Tay? I don't care about Mr. Legs and these people. Like, I don't know these people. I don't care about them. And then they feel like I care about them when I'm explaining the scenario. And it's like, they start feeling themselves. I don't care about you. Like, 
I don't care who Marvin the Dancer's wife and woman. I don't care. So that's the biggest struggle. It's like people be like, mind your own business. Mind your own business. And it's like, these are the questions people have asked me to answer. I'm answering them. I don't fucking care about you. Like, I don't. Like, look me in my eyes straight. Like, you know, I have a fat eye, right? You know, I'm a girl that have fat pokey and I got a fat eye. We talked about that last week if you didn't watch that. I don't care. I don't fucking care. If Marvin wants to jump off a thousand roofs. But as a person of influence, I care because people will be stupid to go follow him. And then I don't need a society of people jumping off galvanized roofs. Like, that's where I have to be responsible as a human being, adult, and an influencer. So that's the struggle. If you jump off the Rasso roof and break your fucking neck, I don't care. I don't, like, I, I don't care. But people care. So I got to give the people what they want. And that is the struggle. That in real life, like when people see me or when people come on my wall and they're like, oh, well, fuck you and fuck Kevin and this and that. I'm like, you shouldn't even be able to reach me in real life. I know you're teething your neighbor's Wi-Fi. Don't let me contact your neighbor and make them change the password on you. Like, stop fucking around. Like in real life, like real life, you don't exist. You know this. And you know the closest you would ever be to me is some stupid ass comment on Facebook. I would never see you in real life. I'm on the go train. You take the TTC. Like, what? Like, where would I see you? Like, I'm, and I'm not even being rude. It's just like, you know, when people are like, yo, you're broke and you're hungry. Listen, I'm broke. Actually, let me go this way. My mother going to buy this big lamp here. Some brand name Tiffany lamp. I don't know. that Broke ass people buy Tiffany lamps? You fucking idiots. Broke ass people got a... A German car dealership in the driveway? You can't? Broke ass people live in a house valued over half a million dollars? Shut up. That is the struggle. Because the cursing. People hear me cursing and they'll be like, yo. She's a ratchet, this, that, whatever. Don't be fooled because you hear me saying Russell and God blame and them things, eh? And I'll take care of your cunt and them kind of things. Because when it comes time for me to run laps on you on certain conversations, you won't be able to keep up. So don't insult me because I will end up making you look stupider. Stupider. And I just made that word up. I don't care. Like, people think they can gauge your intelligence based on how you have a conversation or what you're conversing about. If I'm talking about Marvin the Dancer, I'm going to be talking about Russell and God blame if I'm talking about Barack Obama, I may be using a different type of conversation. If I'm talking about Kevin, I might be using lovey-dovey romantic language. It's based on the conversation that I'm having. I'm not going to have a very deep and intriguing um, conversation about gully bop. So if you hear me talking about gully bop, you feel like, oh, gully bop and Amari and all these people are blogging and they're doing videos and they're broke. Don't just assume every single person is in that same category. We're not. And that's the struggle. That is the biggest struggle. How do you handle online bullying? Online bullying. I don't handle it because you can't bully me online because I live in the real world. Social media to me is a, is a make-believe world. And the amount of people that I know pretend and play and pomposet on Facebook and they talk about they're going to box you in their face when they see you and then they see you and they're running. The amount of times that people have threatened me and I've gone for them. God, we go for them. Go for them. Go for... Hold on, let me find a song. You know me, I've, I got I to gotta go dig. I got to dig deep. Oh, this one. Bloop, 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 bloop. On the gully side, if you want to know, yo, the amount of times we go for people in real life. This is water. This is sparkling water. Who said to me about my water? Very expensive water. This, this is the water I'm drinking today. So yeah, in real life, I've gone to see people. I'm like, didn't you say you was going to spin kick me in my motherfucking neck? Like, let, let me see you do that right now. 
Yo, uh, you know the... No, you said you was gonna fucking kick me in my neck. Why the fuck did you say you was gonna kick me in my neck if you wasn't gonna kick me in my neck and you was just talking? Don't be out here chirping. Don't be out here threatening people. Now, I'm not a gangster, but I'm not gonna tell you that I'm gonna do you something and then in real life, I see you and I'm not gonna do it. In real life, when people see me, they'll be like, you said that my song suck and da-da-da. Your song sucks. Do you want some tamarind balls and some Bobby? I can give you some. In real life, Carla and you, John, can be cool. Taga Taga ranking as an artist, he sucks. But I'm sure you're a wonderful guy. I will invite you to my christening. You're probably cool in real life, but as an artist, you suck. If you want to beat me, hit me right now. I'm just letting you know I will hit you back. Because I'm just telling you the truth based on what you've presented to me. So if you want to call me down in public, I'm not going to call down back to what I said. So I know that principle and that rule. I don't know that people are going to be like, yo, mega shot in your face, son. Hey. And then it's like, you see me and they're like, oh, she really come out here for me. And you're running to police in Barbados. Oh, 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 Bob's trying to threaten me. Police come and like, why are you threatening her? And I'm like, I didn't threaten her. She threatened to kill me on Facebook. Here's the conversation right here. So why did you tell Babsy you were going to kick her in her face? I, I didn't mean it. And so why the fuck were you so serious about it? I'm here now. And you didn't know I was six foot in real life. And you didn't know I was a ninja. And you didn't know I would really roundhouse kick you. Like, I, I can actually do that. So you now playing, and I'm here ready for you. You you was doing all the talking about what you're going to do to me. So I don't believe in cyberbullying. Because in real life, you can't chat to me. So you can't cyberbully me. I just blank the people and be like, what the fuck ever? Get the fuck out of here. Hi, Sharin. Somebody once said to me that a person who discuss has have a lot of poor vocabulary. You disagree? That people can say what they want. I can show you my university dean's list exams in f physics and chemistry that people probably wouldn't even be able to read. So if I curse and talk about Russell and God blind and this and that, the job that I have, my nine to five, 95% of the people in in the world probably could not do that job it's that difficult so i'm not worried about who thinks i'm stupid from who don't think i'm stupid so let's get into the kevin questions i have how did you find a man like kevin where did you and kevin meet how do you and kevin work so well why are you so public with kevin but you were private before what makes this relationship different all right let's go so, to be honest, I wasn't looking for a man like Kevin. I actually wasn't looking for a man, period. I came out of a very bad relationship, like ridiculously bad. That's going to be in the Journey Back to Miss Bad book, where I'm going to highlight that. And um, I went to Grenada with Junior George and um, Sean the Dancer to just go to Spice Mass, check it out, because they had come to... Um, a Grenadian event up here in Canada and they were like yo come to Spice Mass we got you this and that so I'm like all right so I just rented a car and I rented an apartment in Lansapine and then I went to Grenada and Sean the dancer came everywhere with me because I don't know the roads in Grenada so we was just rolling and um, I had an interview at Boss FM with Kevin and um, <laughs> Kevin I put in you on front page boy anyhow just to make a long story short I don't want to make it look like whatever it was like you know, he was interviewing me and we were doing a segment together. Actually, it's on my reality channel if you haven't seen that, Babsy Reality TV. And, um, like, we got along really, really well on the radio station. But for me, right, I don't really deal with business people and people that I work with because I find that it's kind of, like, wrong. So I just figured that Kevin was being like that for radio, for me, and putting on a, a, a front because I know these people in real life a lot of the time, they're full of shit. And basically the next day, um, I went to pre-day and then the next day I got up really, 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 really late. And when I got up late, I went to spice up the carnage and then Junior George had some work to do to get um, t-shirts for his band. Um, amazing colors and Sean the dancer had some errands to run so I was like I'm not gonna go back to Lance Peen and sit down in the apartment so Kevin had messaged me um, the day before about the radio station but I never saw it Junior George coordinated it so I saw Kevin's message when I was clearing my inbox chilling so I answered him back so he called and he's like yo what are you doing so then I was like 
I was here chilling, you know, what's going on. He's like, come up here where I'm at and come hang out. So circumstances and timing, guys. If Junior wasn't busy and Sean wasn't busy, I wouldn't have gone up to see Kevin that day to hang out with him. So I'm like, where are you at? He's like, library. Fuck his library. Like I know the Carinage and Lance of Peen and the Rubis gas station in Wall Street. That's it. How the fuck am I going to get to library? So I seen this girl that I seen every day at the car. And I'm like, yo, you know where library at? She's like, yeah, you got to go up the road. This. So I'm like, get in the car. Let's go to library. Take me up there. And then I'm going to take you back down. All right. She jump in the car. She's talking with me and everything. I don't know this heifer from nowhere, you know? So I'm like, yo, take me up to, land, um, to library. So she directs me to library, get there. So Kevin's out there in a very different state than he was in when I saw him on radio. And then we were like hanging out and chilling that day. And we just started chilling, 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 hanging out. But I wasn't looking for a boyfriend at that point in time because I was actually break. Like I was at the end of a very bad breakup. JP knows. So like I ended up chilling with Kevin that evening. I ended up chilling with Kevin. We went to Soka Monarch together. And then like I just came back to Canada. And I was just like, all right, whatever. Like went to Grenada, met this dude whatever and then like I noticed Kevin was like serious like he would be messaging me every day and he'd be like have a great day you know whatever's happening in your life you'll overcome it blah 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 and I was just like yo what's this dude messaging me for yo yeah I'd be like oh, I'm this Rasta man what's wrong with him like you know but like he grew on me you know what I mean and it's like after a while I was like wait a minute Kevin didn't message me this morning where's Kevin like message him back morning what's going on I Oh, you're looking for me, huh? I'm like, no, I wasn't actually looking for you, Kevin. I was just, oh, you're looking for me. You like me. It's like, nah, dog. I really don't like you. Like, I was just seeing if you was okay because I didn't hear you this morning going on the radio. Like, don't feel yourself, bro. Oh, you like me. You're looking for your man. So I guess that was kind of the start right there. But that's really how it is. So um, how Kevin and I work so well is because... Kevin understands what I do and that's what is so important about our relationship that people may not understand because like Kevin is a social media expert marketing executive you know what I mean and for what I do if you don't understand what I do we will not work which is what happened with my ex he didn't understand what blogging was. He didn't know what a blogger was. So he thought I was a groupie. He figured, he thought I was just somebody running around trying to fuck artists. And like, he, like he didn't get what I did. Kevin understood that like wholeheartedly. So he, he gets it. And he's the first person that's just like come in and not try to change things. He's only changed the, the, business side of my blogging and he's changed it for the better and he's improved it because he's like yo you know when i'm at digicel if we get a sponsorship package request these are the things that i would be looking for so what you need to do with your blog is you need to make changes here 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 and here so he gave me business advice but like to go to a dance at 2 a.m kevin's not like yo you're leaving your house now where are you going like my ex was like that, like, what are you doing? What are you talking about? Where are you going? What do you mean you're going for gas at 10 o'clock at night for your car? What do you, like, he was that kind of a person. You can't micromanage me. It won't work. So Kevin just fits in perfectly. And why I'm so public um, with Kevin when I was so private before, um, I don't really want to just be rude, but it's because I'm actually proud of Kevin. Um, some of the people that I've been with before, after I started to find out who they actually were, I was no longer proud of them. So I didn't even want people to know that me and them were together. It sounds bad. But, um, and situations are funny because, like, I don't know how men are, but, and, but for women, like, well, for me, most women will break up with a man strategically. They don't just get up and leave. They plan their escape. Men are different. Men will just get up and they just act random. So for me, there was a very specific day that I knew I was leaving. So and it, so there was a process for me to leave because I had some financial things to untwine and a whole bunch of other stuff. And I remember the day specifically, and, and this is in the book as well, but I'll tell you a little secret. 
So my dad was extremely ill. He had to go to the hospital and to the ER. And um, they weren't sure if he was going to live through the night or not. And my boyfriend at the time was calling and he was like, couldn't get me because I'm in the hospital. So if you're in a hospital room and all these machines and monitors are up, you can't basically answer the phone. And um, he kept calling and calling and I had to like, I just let it ring because I, when I was ending it, he kept calling back. So when I came home in the night, I was like, hey, you know, um, I saw you calling me. My dad's in the hospital. He's very, very sick. He's having acute kidney failure. They don't know if he's going to live through the night. They're trying to stabilize him. They got the catheter inside of him to drain his kidney. So it's just been a touch and go night. But, you know, and he's like, hey, 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 hey. And he just, like, cut me off. And he's like, shut up, man. Me know why I hear nothing about what happened with your father. He's like, your father could live. Your father could dead. Me not care if him live or me not care if him blood clot dead. Yo, if me I call yo, you have to answer the phone. And yo, me need this and me need this and me need this. And I'm like, what do you mean that you don't care if my father lives or he dies? What the fuck are you talking about? He's like, oh, me never grow with my father. So I'm going to care about yours and I'm going to care about people, father. I was like, wow. I'm out. This is the day I'm leaving this man. But I didn't leave that day. It took five months to coordinate things to leave but that was the day i'm like yo i'm done with this man me and this man are done because he was going through a tough time i'm like this is not tough time conversation this is somebody dirty and vile and evil and wicked and disgusting i am not dealing with a person like this this is the end of the fucking road you don't care if my dad lives or he dies yo i'm out and I planned my escape because I was like, I don't want it to blow up because, you know, other bloggers would get a hold of that information. They would be like, Bobsy, I lose her man and Bobsy because, you know, I have a lot of blogger haters that really would like to see me fall. And I had to handle it. JP was there. He's in the chat right now. Paul, Paul Walford. JP was like right there step by step beside me like he's just like yo you're gonna be okay you're gonna be good you're gonna be this and that because I had to literally like plot an escape and be like yo I don't want this to be for everybody and for the world to know my business you know what I mean and whatever and then it was bad because people were like in the beginning and they're like, he's a waste man, this and that. And it was like, you know, us women were like, he's not, don't say he's a waste man. You don't know him and this and that. He, he's a waste man. So, you know, for me, be, so understand now, you have a man telling you he doesn't care if your father lives or he dies. And then Kevin comes along who's like, the sky is blue, the grass is green, the world is great, I love you. You're like, what the fuck? Cause it's like two extremes. Like Kevin is always happy. Like he's like, yay, you're up. And like if I'm sleeping in Grenada and it's like six o'clock and the rooster half crows, Kevin is like, hey, like, great day, let's go, let's hit the road, let me hit the road, Bob Z, Kala, Kala. And I'm like, Negro, I'm sleeping. It's six a.m. Oh, I'm gonna go look at the sky and take a walk and do this. Negro, it's six a.m., bruh. Like, are you good right now? It's 6 a.m., Kevin. Kevzy. Kevzy, it's 6 a.m. And he's just always happy. So it's like, I I was always unhappy. I was always still getting my blog done and doing my blog and doing that kind of stuff. But I was always unhappy. So to now have someone so happy, it rubs off. Because my mom is all, I mean, you saw the video with my mom chilling the bone to kill it today, right? So it's like, it's to the point where people that I don't know see me and they're like whatever's going on in your life i'm just glad to see that you're happy i'm like oh thank you yeah you know you can see that something's gone positive in your life like people that i don't fuck with are seeing me and they're like that's so great that you're happy now how do you know i'm happy now oh i can just tell you just look so happy you just look so full of life and like i was like how bad did i look before because I feel like I'm dragging right now. You know what I mean? But people are like, yo, you look so happy. I'm so happy for you. How bad did I look? So, yeah. <laughs> Paul said, waste boy need a swift kick in him face. <laughs> Can you behave? Wow, he's a piece of work. 
dial tone block. Trust me. He's insecure. Guess he missed your ass now. No, Leon. Probably he doesn't. He's too self-absorbed to probably miss me. Antoinette. Goldilocks in the house. Big up yourself. Kev Wright. Kev Wright. Get you blood clot self up and go full joy day. True. I guess. Good for you, Babsy. Glad you're happy. Got you forever, friend. You deserve happiness and all. Thank you, uh, Jappy. So yeah, that's basically the story of Kevin. So it was just like, I didn't want to see no men. No, I, I was like, yo, let me just do my blogging. And, uh, you know what I mean? But now it's just like, it's so different. And it's like, so that's why when people like commit suicide in these things, I just always be like, don't do that. Because... I was at my worst point two years ago today. That's when I escaped. Two years ago today, look where I am now. Look where Kevin is now. Look where we are now. And look how things are now. So it's like, you could be going through a bad breakup. You could be going through bad shit in life, period. Life changes and turns around really, really fast. And like, in January 2015... I had depressive thoughts. I wouldn't say I was suicidal, but I was just like, yo, if I jump off a bridge, I wonder if this would just end this pain and this embarrassment. Embarrassment was the biggest part of everything for me. So like literally I, I, um, just was like, yo man, I just want the pain to go away. You know what I mean? And I like suicide seemed like, uh, suicide seemed like something that made sense at the point in time. I, don't, I wouldn't have gone through with it, to be honest, because I know that if I ever killed myself, my mom and dad would be devastated. My brother would be devastated. But it's like, yo, when I was going through it, 2015, January, Jappy's on the phone with me every night, Paul Walford. He's like, yo, hang in there, hang in there, hang in there. You know what I mean? And it's like, look, look now, two years later, it's like, you know, Kevin has all our children named and like, you know what I'm saying? It's like life is just, it just flipped around and it's like, the one thing I will say is that crosses people can ruin your life because as soon as that man left, my dad got back better. My mom got back better. My job got stable. Um, everything just changed as soon as like the day that man left the day I'm like, yo, crosses is really this bad. I never believed in crosses and these kind of thing until like as soon as this man left, my dad's like, boom, back to normal. Um, diabetes under control this under control that under control everybody in my family everybody in my immediate circle back good as soon as he left i was like why people have real evil spirits around them how do i handle the long distance well to be honest i see kevin like once a month somewhere around there so it's not going to be long distance forever but at this stage of the game is long distance but we make it work like honestly skype and um whatsapp call and whatever like i work in it so when i work from home i'm i talk to kevin for about probably the entire day like if you see my call log <laughs> like you would see me and kevin on the phone for like four hours this morning and then it's like he'll go on radio he'll do his thing i'll go to a meeting come back and then we'll be on radio again and, or sorry, we'll be on the phone again talking and whatever. And then it's like, I come home, I eat dinner, I bathe, I nap, get up. I'm like on the phone with Kevin to like nine to like one. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's only now that Grenada's an hour and head is, is kind of off. But it we don't feel it. Like, it's like, it's only bad when I first leave. So when I first leave Grenada and it's like, I've been there two weeks and I'm, you know, Every morning, Kevin's like making tea and breakfast and whatever. Like the next day you get up, you're not making tea and breakfast. Or the next day when I get up, I got to make my own breakfast. I'm like, it was Kev's boy But it works. Did I mean? It, it works. It works. It works. Yes, girl, I had bronchitis, tonsillitis, car accident for dead. and lost my grandfather all before I left this cross. This guy, so it's a true thing. Savory Tissa, I'm telling you. Yo, you you would be surprised how blighted people are and how they could ruin your life. Leandro Jones, he was blocking all your blessings. Grace Gums, he was a blight. Trust me, man. He was, I wouldn't say he was a devil mango pilot, but he was um, the devil's administrative assistant. He used to like take the devil's calls and stuff. Like he was that bad. Trust me. You're welcome, Bowen, um, baby love for sharing. Like, yo, I'm a regular person, man. I'm a regular, regular, regular ass motherfucker. 
know what I mean? Like, there's no difference between any of you watching and me. None. People be like, how do I find the time to do my blogging? How do I find the time to travel? I just plan. Yo, if you plan, like I'm a business analyst project manager, so I have to plan schedules and strategies and stuff like that. You just plan. You just figure it out. Like, I already know the next time I'm going to be in Grenada. I already know, like, you know, the time after that when I'm going to be in Grenada. I already have all that planned out. I already know when Kevin and I are going on our cruise. I already know when we're going to Barbados Reggae on the Hill. I already know that we have a wedding to go to in Barbados April 22nd. Like, so I'm like... I already know Spice Mass is a, a year, a week later this year in August because of how the dates run. So I'm planned out, but that's the only difference between between me and anybody. I, I plan a lot. I, I plan a lot. Trust me. While wow, you're actually helping me with my long distance relationship, thank you. It's really not easy. The only advice I can give you, Valsia, is don't talk to a lot of people about it because people are very negative you know I, when I, I like even with my blogging when I first started blogging people were like you nobody's gonna ever 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 listen to a Bajan person on a video the Bajan accent nobody understands it and look now right I will be talking like I was talking to a fan from Australia she's like Babs can I call you I want to talk to you about something so I was like okay what's going on and she's like yeah you know I'm having some problems with my boyfriend because I want to do my master's and I wanted to go back to school but he's telling me that he doesn't want me to be working so I was like carry your rass hole and I was like y you said what to him she's like oh I told him to carry his rass hole but then you know god blame you the man telling me and I'm like no are you just telling me you said this like what he's like no man I tell the man to carry he cunt like and I'm like white woman Australian and she's like yeah I tell you Carrie Russell from around here and I'm like no you're talking Bajan though <laughs> like that's Bajan yeah I know like Pablo he's in the chat probably Pablo be like wanna need to because he does he's doing pharmaceutical work he'd be like wanna need to cover one of noses and stop sneezing about here and he's Mexican so it's like Nobody understood Jamaican dancehall in the beginning when it first came out. And people were like, what's Shabba Rank saying? Everyone understands Patois now. Most people. So it was like, when in the beginning, when I first started talking Beijing, no people didn't get it. But now people are like, I see like Junior, um, the chocolate. He'll be like, yo, I'm a boss. I get problem blood clot nerves, you know. I don't know what a rassle he... I'm like, he's twanging Jamaican and Beijing together. I talked to Kizzy and Stella. She'd be like... Yo, John no started Russell, and I'm like, these motherfuckers talking Bajan. You never heard that before, right? So it was like, if if you don't will listen to Bajan, you know what I mean? And it's like, how do you know that? How do you know that? How do you know that? You've never seen a Bajan go out and fail. So it's like, literally, sorry, my um, internet was sticking there for a sec. You got to know who to be long distance with. Yeah, it's true. I believe in Kevin, so don't let me down, Kevin. Don't let me down, brother. Comment in here, Kevzy. You better comment. Let me know you're not rubbing down no woman tonight. Amen to that. Keep your relationship to yourself, especially long distance. Um, Miss Hall. Yes, it's true. Um, you know, oh, um, Grace Gums asked what God blame means. It means God blind you, but it's a very bad word in Barbados. Um, yeah, it's doomed to fail. The more people that know you're happy, because think about it. A woman would see Kevin send me flowers and she ain't get none. A woman would see Kevin, woman crush Wednesday me. She ain't get none. First thing in her mind is like, I want that. So she would come and be like, oh, you have a long distance relationship with Babsy, Kevin. You don't think Babsy's sleeping around? Planting seeds. Planting seeds of negativity, planting seeds, planting seeds. That's what these people do. They see something that they want and then they start planting negative seeds. And they're like, oh yeah, well, you know what? I'll, I'll, take, I'll take Kevin away from Babsy. Watch me, watch. And that's what these people do. So you can't tell them nothing because once you start telling them your personal business about things, they will really try to take it to the next level. But like Kevin is like Fort Knox. These bitches can't, these bitches can't get nowhere with Kevin Z. Kevin be like, on the road, hi Kevin. He, mm. Like he's like straight. Like yeah, man. This curve game is strong out there. I'm joking, but he's just not like that really to begin with. 
anymore, I guess. I don't know if he was like that before. Somebody could come call me and give me Kevin's secrets. Babsy is a blessing. Don't forget the lady you save her from emotionally negative husband. You'd be giving people motivation and willpower. It's true. You have to hang in there, man. Stop evil. The good, good people, them, you brute. I can relate. Grew up all over the Caribbean. I have three different accents talking with my friends from those islands. Kevzy knows he can't let you down because we all go be in his ass. <laughs> Kevin better not be watching a quick, catching a quick flight, Bazzi. Yeah, Jappy, you know you got that size 15. You like six foot six or some shit. You know we'll step on Kevin, boy. Step on he. We let him know, man. Put the, put the chat, put the words in the chat so he can read them. Well, there he commented as me. Tell them a chapter a day. They can't take me away. I have to leave and I don't want to. So you win either way. And that makes us all winners. You see them lurks there? Kevin feel he's bearish. How many do you know? Kevin feel he's bearish. That's what he's be dropping. Bearish. So fellas, if you want to sweet talk your woman, drop some bearish. How punchy? Drop some bearish. How punchy? You got to spray them bad seeds and uproot them. True things, Tashi. The same way people just turn around and get along. Distance buddies. Savory, trust me. You, you don't, don't tell nobody your business. I'm, I'm, I'm me not, uh, my woman, the little weight look good on you. You fat woman, as them say. <laughs> Another question I got. Um, how do you keep a strong relationship with your parents? Um, um, that's the last question. And I'm going to go after that. You know what? Kevin's still looking brownie points or what? Paul Palmer, Kevin always want brownie points. Left my man. Don't fuck around. Um, me and my mom are like brethrens, to be honest. Like, my mom is like my homie, like my dog, like my youth. Yeah, I mean, she's like, you see her like on videos and stuff like that. I haven't showcased her as much um, lately was because, I'll tell you, I was in my feelings about some comments that went on. So, you know, um, when the missionaries were killed in Jamaica... Some people came on my page and were like, yo, you know, if you talk about um, the missionaries getting killed in Jamaica, you need to talk about your fat blood clot mama and tell her for lose weight. And I was like, yo, these people are really going in ham on my mom to lose weight because missionaries were killed in Jamaica. So like for me, 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 I was like, ease off the videos for a bit because I will like, because I know me. And I know that I would track that person down and bust their ass. Like, and it was a few of them. And I know who they are. Like, I tracked one of them down. Actually, one of my fans tracked one of them down. And um, that upset me a lot. So, I'm like, my mom, if you, like, it's even with Kevin. If you don't like me, come for me. You're calling Kevin a body man because you don't like me? Come for me. Like, let me and you rumble. Leave my mom out of this. Leave Kevin out of this. You know, they don't have nothing to do with this. It's not my mom's fault that I'm Babsy. You know what I'm saying? So don't fucking talk about my mom being fat and she got to lose weight because I'm talking about missionaries getting killed in Jamaica. Like you, you, these people, they're reckless, man. And it's like, you got to get used. It's, it's a learning curve. So I'm not, I'm not at the stage anymore where the words bother me as much. So I'm like reintroducing my mom and stuff like that. Good night, say Ritissa. I'm going. I'm going now, just now too, because I know it's late. Um, my screen's dark. No, Pablo, turn the light on on your phone. That's the Pablo's the Mexican that this talk Beijing, Mexicanish boy. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's how I make it work. My mom's my that my mom, my dad too. Like we're you know like me and my dad will butt heads a little bit more because we're a lot alike. But my dad is. Like my roadie, you know what I mean? Like we go to dance together, you know what I mean? We, we, we do road, like my mom and I, we do road, like, and my mom's very gangsterish. Like she'll always be like, who say what about me being fat? Tell, find out where them live. I will go and break them up. Like she's like that. She'll be like, yo, I'll show you fat when I get out there, when I kick you in. Like she, <laughs> my mom is just. That's one of the things that I love. I lucked out on in life. I just, I got two good parents. You know what I mean? Some people are like, yo, my mom was good. My dad was good, whatever. Like I got two great parents. Like my dad taught me a lot. My mom taught me a lot. Somebody asked me where Natboo is. You're going to see Natboo tomorrow, actually. 
not boo gonna be making her appearance back and um i'm going to get a tattoo here in about two to three weeks so i might videotape that and record that you might see that and um i'm gonna let you guys go now because it's actually very 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 late you know what i mean so um i didn't do a bun down today because as i said i'm traveling tomorrow and i just said let me just do some q a and stuff like that good night sharon long time i hear you girl i hope everything's good and ting you understand good night george good night nikki angel good night mango pilot everybody i wave and say goodbye now because i'm leaving with my rich water rich people water good night beverly thank you so much Trust me, I black. I shine black. People shine hard. Apparently, I black black, so I ain't know. Good night, Kevin Goodrich. Hey, Kevin, I'm glad you're feeling better, Mr. Goodrich. Big up yourself. Good news all around. Bye, LaQuisha. Love you too, Miss Hall. Good night. We go talk. I got to get my frack, Miss Hall. I'm coming, Miss Hall. I'm going to roll up in there in the snow, Miss Hall. Bye, Letitia. Bye, Leandra. It's 5 o'clock after 5 in the morning. All right. Good that you have work and you're not selling pussy and ting. Be glad you have a job, Miss Leandra Jones. A lot of people are here selling boxy and, and vagina. You're doing it the right way. That's good. Good night, Paul. Yeah, man, we go link, man. We got to talk up. Bye. Good night, Avis. Um, good night, Latoya Bo. It's late in Alberta. It's not my fault. You behind we. Bye, Tashi. You love that drink, huh? Say, send some to Bim. Tashi. When I come for a reggae on the hill, I go bring some for you. I'll bring you like three of them, okay? So link up with me. I'll bring you some. Good night, Goldilocks. Bye night. Good night, Cassandra. Dr. Cassandra. Dr. Cassandra. Feel it. I don't have that song on here, I don't think. That's on my next hard drive. Bye, Valsia. Sweet Cheeks. Good night. Good night, Nad. Good night, Paul Palmer Twiggy. Who's selling Walmart? Walmart selling Boxy? No. Love, San. yeah, these, these are good. But good night, Maria. Love you guys. And I will see you guys tomorrow in a different location. Undisclosed, but you'll soon know. Bye. Agon.